cannabis stockholders may have noticed a, a nice little pop in their portfolio values um, at the close of this week's first two trading days. Analysts are tracking the rise of uh, to the U.S. government's window closing Monday evening for public feedback on proposed scheduling changes and the rise of the recently rhetorical pro-cannabis candidate Kamala Harris, officially replacing Joe Biden for Democrats on the 2024 presidential ticket. The public feedback period for Schedule 3 classification ended Monday night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time with nearly 43,000 comments tallied. Should reclassification move forward, cannabis would shift into the same regulatory bucket as ketamine and anabolic steroids, drugs defined under federal law as drugs with a moderate to low potential for physical and psychological dependence. Schedule one, on the other hand, status quo since 1970 has uh, uh, keeps cannabis next to heroin, LSD, and other substance, substances of abuse listed as having no medical purposes. MarketWatch's Steve Gelsey reported that the move could save legal operators millions in taxes because they'll no longer be required to follow Section 280E uh, prohibitions from making standard business tax deductions. A DEA spokesperson declined to provide a timeline for the final ru ruling or how the roughly 43,000 comments ranks in terms of feedback on any drug scheduling issues in the past. Among the comments, Gelsey highlighted a study by Whitney Economics for the Minority Cannabis Business Association that concluded 33.7% of white cannabis business operators reported being profitable, while only 17.5 operators of color managed to do so. The group argued that ending the 280E tax penalty through rescheduling is a desperately needed change and will disproportionately benefit social equity operators of color. On the other hand, he noted smart approaches to marijuana uh, has vowed to challenge this rescheduling effort in court, saying that marijuana is a quote, psychoactive drug known to come with serious health and mental health consequences, end quote. Monday also marked the first stock trading day after Vice President Kamala Harris emerged as the likely big D Democrat, uh, Democratic dom nominee for president instead of Joe Biden. Gelsey said that Harris's support of President Joe Biden's move to reclassify cannabis and her highly publicized meeting with cannabis industry members at the White House earlier this year were major factors. Uh, the fact that Harris is now headlining it has given a boost of confidence to stockholders. As the polls have showed, um, the Democrats' takeover, followed by a record-breaking uh, 24 hours of fundraising, has given pro-cannabis voters reason to believe positive change may actually occur with the current VP in charge. A significant change in response to Biden's past waffling on the issue and Trump's unpredictability with, with, with vocal support ranging from complete indifference and wanting to charge illegal drug dealers with the death penalty. While I'm uh, personally more inclined to follow the money and refrain from any concrete emotional reaction when it comes to promises made in an election season by any politician running for office, I will say this. I was pleasantly surprised to read in a separate article by Marijuana Moments Ben Adlin on the same issue that while approximately 35% of the near 43,000 comments submitted by Monday's deadline agreed with Biden's uh, administration plan for marijuana to be rescheduled, most of the comments, a whopping 57% said that cannabis should be entirely descheduled. Uh, a mere 8% said that the substance should remain in Schedule 1. The people have spoken. I don't have much confidence in American leaders listening, but either way, we will soon see. I'm Rico Lamid, the dopest dad on the street for I9 News. Let's talk about it. Uh, they had uh, so many comments, and I know a lot of them were good. A lot of them were bad. A lot of people were calling for descheduling. A lot of people were saying how uh, it's totally against uh, the government's purview to be able to do this because of the procedural things that they are doing. You know, the AG's... Uh, wrote a big letter uh, saying that this is not the way to go. And man, I, I, I just, I, how many people do you think are going to read all of these comments? Rico? AI is going to read them. That's what I was thinking. AI is going to do a really nice yeah. job of tallying yes or no based on the responses. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't think anybody's going to Is that going to be the same AI that, that they used for the, for the Kamala call with Joe? I mean, uh, let's, let's, oh keep, let's keep it a buck here, man. Uh, people are energized Just behind me. Kamala Harris. 
um, uh, Joe Biden's low energy. No one is um, and energized by it. And he's not even lot. knowing. Yeah, I mean, he, he, I he's, mean he's, that's he's factually comment. that's factually Stop incorrect, it. Jason. Whether you like her or not, that's true. Yeah, he, no, he, no one he, is he energized by her. Made no sense. No, I actually, I'm going to agree with Rico on this one. I think yeah. that you know we knew that Biden had no chance at defeating Trump, right? So now that she has entered the ring, there is at least a little bit more interest around the election. There's more conversation. There's, And, you know, I don't like her either. Hold on, Jason. I see you opening your mouth. Let me just finish because I'm unhinged, too. I'm here with Dale today. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm doing my best. I'm trying, you know, mental health. Um, but, yeah, no, I think that there's a lot of there's a lot more discussion around. There's It's re-energized this whole conversation because now the Democratic Party feels that they do have a candidate that's at least going to finish the race. Mm. Right. Whether she wins the conversation or not. has shifted from from her from the, the candidate's mental acuity to actual policy positions. And if we're being honest, regardless of, of the vice president's track record when she was a prosecutor in San Francisco or Oakland or mm-hmm. in, in the state of California, she has come a long way on her at least her verbal position on cannabis and how she feels it should be treated. Did you say her oral level. position on cannabis? Oh, boy. Her, her verbal. Oh boy. Her oral position on cannabis. Interesting. Interesting choice of words there, so hum. Yeah, a verbal, but mm-hmm. we, you can go with oral if you want. Mm-hmm. I prefer oral yeah. position, yeah. Is it, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's it's the more way of her style. the GOP likes to think about a, a, a woman candidate. It's, 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 it's more, up it's on more of her, it's no, more no, of her no, style. No, 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 that's her track record. That's her so track home. record. It's not, so it's not, and I, as a woman who is obviously staunchly conservative, I don't want to attack her because she is a woman. I think that that's yeah, in poor talk. taste, and I think that, you know, let's let's try not Thank to you. do that. Yeah. Um, Thank you for that, Jenny Beth. Can we get a round of applause for that? Like, for real, man. Like, like there's a, there's I think, yeah, there's plenty of things to criticize her about. Yeah, there's enough yeah, to take her down on, on her you know policies I mean? and the actions that she's actually taken in official, Did you use the uh, phrase, uh, take her down? Dude, just like, saying. Like, keep her, yeah, yeah, just, just saying. Keep her buck, man. Okay. Like, that's All right, just saying. Just saying. That's bullshit. You can, the same can be said about the uh, about Donald Trump and his misdeeds on the personal mm-hmm. level, on, on a much higher level. But we, we don't want to take it there. Let's talk about her okay. failed policies. That, that's, there, that's there, there's plenty game. to talk about there. I well, mean, she is the border exactly. czar. She is the border let's, czar. Let's keep it a buck. Let's, let's keep it that. Let's keep it on that because okay. Trump has far more we can talk about to take him down a peg on a personal level. So let's not do that. Okay. It's like when you're arguing and you start calling people all kinds of bitches. You just lost the argument because you don't wrong. have a factual basis but, anymore. But and, and this is this is I think basis to argue. This is a good kind of example of why this was actually for once a strategically smart move by the Democratic Party because look at look at where Jason's going now and this is very reflective of the conversation coming out of the GOP now is the the attacks have shifted from policy to an age to now things that might be rooted in misogyny or or other issues that are not related to her as a candidate or her policy positions or her track record as an elected official it's not rooted in misogyny it's rooted in just factual information so um yeah, but to bring that up as a as a point it's, of criticism, it, I mean, is, it is, is it is it is a thing. It is a thing. People criticize people criticize Trump for things all the time. I guess no, if we are talking it, it about character, that is true. That does happen. Yeah, but I mean, that is I, character. I think that that's also the part of the issue that I have with people who hate Trump just because he's Trump. Tell me policy specifically that you have a problem with. Tell me something procedural that you have a problem with. Not that you have a problem with once he had sex with a woman and paid for it. And, you know, had her had paid for it twice, technically. You know what I mean? Because he got oh, sued I see what it, you yeah. did there. I see but, what you did there, Jenny. That yeah, was cute. I would like that was to cute. see both sides kind of stick to the argument because there's plenty to argue about without bringing in baseless bullshit. Mm-hmm. I love how the public comments turn into this discussion about the public comments and this turned into this you guys <laughs> love it too. and i love yeah. how uh, i can light the match and, and walk away i'll be back at halftime yeah we'll see we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see yeah. We'll, yeah we'll see you at halftime